So in this video, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make a geometry dash, but it's going to be made fully within a web browser. I honestly have no idea how this is going to turn out, but let's go find out. Okay, so I just wrote this prompt and I haven't given much details about what I actually want other than just to create the game Geometry Dash. Also, I went ahead before and set up these blank files just so everything will be ready to go. Okay, so let's generate this code. Oh, well, <laughs> this looks nothing like Geometry Dash. Um, I mean, at least we're a cube and we can jump. Okay, let's ask it to make the game more like Geometry Dash by adding spikes and obstacles. Okay, so we can move now. Oh, and the spikes as well. I honestly was not expecting it to do this much so soon. Okay, so the player resets when they die. So that works. Oh my gosh, what what is that? How did that happen? <laughs> um, I'm just going to forget about that and move on for now. Okay, so let's ask ChatGPT to fix the player jumping and also the hitboxes because I was nowhere near that spike when I died. I think I'm going to just change some of these values manually as I don't think ChatGPT is going to understand how I want the jumping to look like. I think this should be slightly better now, I hope. Okay, let's refresh the page and let's hope my jumping is slightly better than before. Oh, okay, that's a little better. I think we can work with that now. Yeah, okay, I can actually like jump over these spikes now. I think next I want to make it so the level is complete when the player reaches the end of the screen. So let's ask ChatGPT to do that. I honestly have no idea what it's going to do or how, but let's see. Okay, let's replace this old code with the new code it's given me. Okay, and let's get to the end of the level. Oh my gosh, look at me go. Okay, it just freezes everything and gives me an alert. <laughs> um... It doesn't look great at all, but hey, at least we got some functionality here. Oh wait, I can still jump at the end here. It probably wouldn't be too hard to create a custom pop-up, but I probably won't worry about that just for now. Okay, so right now I'm just asking ChatGPT to make it so the spikes reset when the player dies. So this doesn't happen. And now when I die... Yes, okay, so it works. Oh no, why is it speeding up so much every time I die? <laughs> you know what, I think I'm gonna leave all these problems for now and I think I'm gonna fix them later. I kind of just want to make this look more like Geometry Dash first. Okay, let's ask for it to set up everything so I can replace the colors with actual images. And we can just copy and paste the code into here and delete this background color. I also went ahead and made an images folder to store all these images and I found some PNG images online that I could use and I also got my icon. So let's go see what this looks like in the actual game. Ah, uh, okay, why does it look like that? <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay, so this is the problem. So the file paths here are wrong. I just need to change the paths here so they all lead to the images folder. And for some reason, there isn't even an image link for the spikes. So let's go ahead and add that. And okay, it should all work now. Yes, okay, so the images are in, but um, this does not look right anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so I changed the CSS so the width and the height of the background and floor fit the entire screen. So that's looking a little better now, but I need to fix the positioning of the spikes and the icon. Also, before I forget, I should probably call the reset game function in the end level function so the game actually resets when you press OK on the alert. And this here should change the positioning of the player and the spikes, hopefully. It should line it up with the ground. Okay, so this looks good. Oh, okay, I go down there when I jump. Hmm. How do I fix that? I think if I change these values, it should fix the problem. Okay, that's better. Oh wait, okay, I'm back down there when I die. So we just need to change the value in this reset function as well, and that should fix that problem. Okay, so I just made it so the spikes appear on the screen sooner. Okay, yep, we're respawning in the right position now, and yeah, okay, so we respawn fine after we beat the level. I seem to have fixed the most of the issues with the code now, I think. Oh well, my conversation with ChatGPT at this point is like so long now. 
Another thing I want to add is to get the player to spin 90 degrees when jumping like it does in the actual game. So let's see if we can add that. So I just asked ChatGPT to do this and it somewhat works but not really. Okay let's give ChatGPT some more details about how I want it to actually function. Okay yes this actually works now. Well I don't think it's rotating the right way but you know it's fine I'm just happy that it works at the moment. Um, also I want to add an animation so it actually looks a little like better. So I'll just ask ChatGPT to create a CSS animation for every time the cube spins 90 degrees and let's copy that and paste it in here and also replace the jump function with the new code and okay that actually looks a little better now. I really did not think we would get it to work like this quickly. Okay so I just went into Photoshop to change how the spikes look because at the moment the spikes don't look like the default spikes in Geometry Dash. Okay that actually looks better now. So it really is like slow and short gameplay and nothing really aligns well and just it doesn't look that great but for something that was done in an hour and created with ChatGPT inside of a web browser, I think it's pretty alright, especially considering it's not even built within a game engine and is just pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript code making the whole thing function. But anyways, I think that does it for this video. Obviously with more time I could make this game a lot better and more playable which I might do in a part 2 if you guys really enjoyed this video and want to see the whole thing complete. But yeah, that's about everything. Okay, thanks for watching.